everyone, how you doing today? I'm here to show you guys how to uh, yeah, replace your mechanical hard drive for your Alienware 14 R1 with a solid state drive. You can purchase any of the solid state drive SSD 2.5 inch of Amazon or I'll leave it in the link in the description. And you can install your own system, it will be much more faster than the mechanical uh, hard drive that you have inside. This Alien one, Alien one R1, they have an SSD M.2. It does speed up a little bit, but it's still reading off a mechanical hard drive and then giving it back to you. So if you upgrade it to the SSD, it will be much, much faster. So let's get it started. You have to flip your laptop over. On the bottom side, you will see two screws right by the grill, right there. We're going to remove these two screws. We're not going to remove these two on the bottom front. These are just uh, holding this plate right here so let's go ahead and remove these two all right now that we removed the two screws what we're gonna do we're gonna pull the this rubber bands here rubber leggings towards the front end of the laptop and you want to see opening right here right there it will be open with about two or three millimeters right there and then you can just lift out the bottom cover can go ahead and clean up the dust filter down here all right down here you will see the battery the optical drive the hard drive is right beneath the optical drive you do not need to remove the battery if you want go ahead there's one cable right here you just have to pull it out but to change the hard drive you do not need to do that you want to remove four screws two on here and one right here one right in the corner these screws hold the optical drive, the caddy, so we're going to remove those. Alright, you can just unhook the DVD ROM or optical drive from disconnecting it from the main board right there. You can just, or let's see if we can actually, without disconnecting it, we should be able to lift it up. And just slide it this way. So that way we don't have to actually disconnect it. So we're just going to flip it over to the other side. Down here you can see the hard drive. And um, by the way, this is your M.2 hard drive, SSD solid state. You can just, uh, this one comes with a 64 gig or 80 gig. You can change it to a different one. So what are you going to do? We're going to remove three screws, one, two in front and one at the back. All right. Once we did that, we're going to pull this cable up towards the ceiling and that's the connector for the hard drive and we can remove the hard drive this way. Now this comes with a one terabyte hard drive. We can, in order to change it, you have to remove the adapter right here in front. Just put your fingernails right in under the adapter and just pull them apart. That's why I try to keep my fingernails long. Oh, there you go. Next, we're going to remove the two screws. One, two, three, four. There are four screws holding, two on each side. All right. Next, we can just slide out the hard drive from here. And in the same position, you're going to put the SSD hard drive in. And you're going to put the two screws in here and two screws at the back. And you're going to connect the connector right there. And then slide it down and put it in the place. For the demonstration, I'm not going to do this. As this is a client of mine, I'm just showing you guys how to. So that's how it goes. Now let's imagine this is the SSD hard drive. I'll put it back in. Put the connector, put the four screws, two on each side. Now we're going to put the hard drive down first in its place and then we're going to just push the connector right in the place on the motherboard. Put the three screws two in the front and one at the back of the caddy for the hard drive. Alright, now we got the hard drive in place, we're going to just put the 
CD run back in place. And put the three, four screws on the CD run, two on the other side, and two on the bottom side. Alright, and we are pretty much done. And if you guys have any questions, just ask them in the comments at the bottom, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And the last thing is to put the bottom grill, you put it with an offset, and then you hold down from the sides and just slide it towards the back of the laptop. And you're gonna see the holes matching on the screws and put the last two screws in. I hope you guys like this video. If you like it, click that thumbs up button. It really helps and I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And this is how you upgrade your hard drive to an SSD drive for your Alien 14 R1.